Hi, I'm Nelson Duffel, and this is ClassicRockFans.com podcast. Today on Hidden Talents, we're featuring Mark Andes. I guarantee that you'll recognize some of the songs he's played on and some of the bands that he's played with. Welcome to ClassicRockFans.com podcast. I'm your host, Nelson Duffel. Here's a question for you. What do all of these classic bands and all of these classic hit songs have in common? This guy, legendary bass player Mark Andes. Making records and touring the world since the mid-1960s and still going strong today. I guarantee that you've heard something from the bands he's played with. Spirit, Jojo Gunn, Firefall, Heart, Ian McLoggin's Bump Band, Stevie Nicks, Dan Fogelberg, not to mention hundreds more studio sessions with folks that you're probably not familiar with. Right now, he's back on the road with Firefall. if I would be interested in some doing some shows so I said yeah I could I could see how that could be fun and it's turned out to be that way you know, it's really been interesting and neat for me to rediscover my singing chops you know and we've been doing some spirit songs like nature's way and got a line and so I'm actually uh, finding my lead singer voice <laughs> first incarnation of spirit it was called spirit the spirits rebellious at that time and then uh, can't heat came along when Randy and cast left and it was just boom 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 you know and I haven't stopped it's been crazy I mean, a little terrifying to try, have to make a living in music and it's been humbling for sure but it's also been very gratifying and In 1971, Mark co-founded Jojo Gunn and hit the top 40 with Run Run Run. One of the questions that I asked Mark was when it comes to music, what brings you the most joy? It's about being in that zone where you're, um, you're in the moment with your music and you're really not thinking technique but you're just really in the flow. It's very similar to that that athletic in the zone type and what that winds up doing for the individual musician is I think it's like a serious meditation is what I think Mark's music has put him in that zone for years Firefall had several hits in the late 70s, and then Mark brought his bass talents to heart for 10 plus years throughout their 80s heyday. This included a number one album and another string of hit singles. I really just had to ask Mark, in a career like yours, what are some of the highlights? Firefall was opening up for Heart and the Beach Boys, and that was so exotic. We had never been uh, to Japan before, yeah. and we were one of the first groups to play an outdoor festival in Japan, and that was a real eye-opener. And Texas International Pop Festival, the uh, Atlanta Pop Festivals, the Fillmore's, you know, the East and West, and Firefall did some amazing shows with Fleetwood Mac 
There's a, a yeah, at Folsom Stadium, filled to the rafters. That, that famous that, picture of the yeah, line. yeah, from back. Exactly. Looking. That's incredible. After that, he toured with Fleetwood Mac's Stevie Nicks and with folk rocker Dan Fogelberg. Fast forward to the early 2000s, when Mark played for several years with Ian McLoggin's Bump Band and joined several legendary classic rockers on stage. Mark has spent most of his life on stage and in recording studios. Which does he prefer? Being in the studio, you know, you, you, your performance is being captured, so you really want it to be a good performance. You know, you want to play the thing correctly and have it be inspired. But playing live has a whole other set of uh, pressures that you want to, you know, be relaxed and, and get into the thing and have create a, a, a great listening experience. So they're very different, actually. Mark started learning music in the early 1960s in junior high. Is it better for a kid today to be self-taught or to take actual lessons? I would suggest get a real proper education with being able to read and you know have some theory and you know go deeper into it because there's so many people just kind of doing skimming along the top. Yeah. But if a kid really has talent and drive, then I would say get an education. Yeah. The digital age has changed the music industry so much, but seeing professional musicians like Mark Andes and top bands like Firefall perform live today is still worth its weight in gold. That's where the musician really has some control. So when you, the only way you can really feel where a, a musician is coming from is to actually see them play, perform, and that's, you get an idea of what's going on with that.